Hey, what's up guys and girls? How's everyone doing? So, uh, a funny thing happened today. I spent the last two, what, two, three days recording this video of a, of a base design bunker type-ish build that I did. And, um, as it's uploading, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go mess around some more. And I found something. And, um, what I found, I feel I need to apologize to some people. I'm sorry for all you lockpickers out there for what I'm about to reveal to the world. Um, yeah, everybody that's been lockpicked before, your worries are over as of now. So this can be done as a solo. This can be implemented into your current base. Um, very easy to do, very cheap to do. Um, you can wall off um, prefabs like this, make them bunkers. So, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool stuff. It's actually a, a Rust meta. Some of you might know it or recognize it from Rust, but there's a, a bit of a process to getting it to work. Um, it took me about five hours just to figure out how to get this to work. Now, as you can see, I've got a small little um, two by three. It's not a not a massive base, like a solo base. This base will probably be good for up to four people. Um, now, I did not honeycomb it because the honeycomb isn't what I want to show you guys. Everybody knows how to honeycomb. So if you're going to build something like this, I would highly recommend honeycombing. Like just two layers of honeycomb is going to bring you up to, what, 12, 15 C4. So do the honeycomb. It is worth it. Just do it. What I want to show you today is with one door and one door only. Inside, you're just going to have this. You're going to have wardrobe number one and you're going to have this thing. What do you call it? A small log shed. Because you're going to need logs and you're going to need some other things. So, um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a twig roof and you're going to place a twig roof and um, you're going to build it. And once you build it, your wall that you've upgraded is gone. So let's do that again. Well, I did a quick tactical cough there. So again, twig roof, build it, and it opens the wall. So now you can head in here and you can have your beds here, some storage, and you've got your flag in here. That's not the cool part. The cool part is, once this is destroyed, sorry, I have to show you guys. Bear with me. You can't get up there. There's no way for you to physically get up there, which is your loot room. You can't loot those boxes. You can't do anything. Once you've got this bad boy up, you can get up here because it makes this little diamond. And you've got a very nice loot room. So you can't be lockpick raided. And um, it's a minimum of 3C4 at base level to get to your stuff. And all it's going to cost you is whenever you get back to base is two long sticks because it's seven short sticks. So that's two long sticks. One log some string or rope or whatever and yeah that's what it's going to cost you and that's what these are for keep these stocked with that and you're good once it's gone once you log off once you leave your base you're perfectly safe so um i'm going to show you how to build this quickly because there is a there's a way to it. If you're just going to build it, it's not going to work. Right. So I just have to, I have to, guys. I have to do a quick shout out. Now, nobody asked me to do this, but I am asking you guys to give me like a minute, maybe two minutes. Just hear me out. So I believe in, in give thanks where thanks is due and give credit where credit is due. So as you guys know, it takes a lot of effort to make these videos. Uh, a lot of effort. Um, 
I spend a lot of time on single player and then obviously I need to test my findings on multiplayer because single player and multiplayer are not, is not, are not, I don't fucking know. They're not the same. Um, and I don't have a server anymore. So it's really hard to test things on multiplayer for me because I'm not going to go out and build everything and upgrade everything and mine the C4s and all that kind of shit. So the guys from Fully Loaded, which is the server that I play on, offered to help me. And the admins are absolutely amazing. They would literally go in admin mode or in god mode, go build the things, test it as I want it to be tested while sharing these screens with me. And I could confirm my findings, which enables me to put this video and other videos out to you guys because I'm already busy with the next video that we also had to test the findings of, which is basically how rating would work in with the new update. So... I just want to give a big thanks to them. If you guys are looking for a server to play on, no, they did not ask me to do this. They did not pay me to do this, but it's a good server. I'm really full of shit about servers. So if you guys need a really good server to play on, it's 1.5 times loot. There's harder zombies. Um, there are mechs. There are no safe zones. And they only have four rules. Yeah, that's it. Only four rules. It is... The definition of a no bullshit server, and it all boils down to, don't be an absolute penis. Um, so, yeah, if you guys are looking for a server, come check out Fully Loaded. It's really cool. Just as a thank you to them, I'm gonna have their logo in the top right corner for the rest of the video. Um, so, um, yeah, guys, come check it out. I hope to see you there through my rifle scope, and then I want to loot your body. So. Yeah, let's get back oh. to building. I'm going to show you how to do it because there's a there's an order that you need to do it in. Otherwise, it doesn't work. And there's yeah, there's there's a few things that you need to understand. So your whole the whole concept is going to revolve around this. You, you this is where you have to start. This has to be your entrance. This L shape actually this L shape and a door because obviously you need a door so that has to go to your um, your into your base whatever your base is whatever it is like there it's little um, 2 by 3 here your base can be whatever it you, you want it to be if it's a prefab this block that I'm standing on isn't necessary. You're going to place this where the wall is going to be, right against the door of the prefab. So, then you want a wall right there. You want a wall right there. You want a wall right there. Basically, you want walls all around. You do not want a door here because the door here is going to fuck with your way out. So you just want a door there. And you want a wall. Where are the walls? You want a wall there. This is your start, your your base. This wall you've got there. So now all you do is you place your twig and it's open. But the thing is, as soon as you place, actually I'm going to leave this open. As soon as you place a roof here and you place a roof there and let's put a roof up here we should be able to from here there we go so as soon as you do this it's not going to work now when you taste it it is going to work let me show you so because I placed the roofs while it was down that wall isn't attached to any roofs so when I place it it still opens up so it works I thought it worked as well but what happens is as soon as you relog which I'm going to do right now so let's log out. And we are back in. Now as soon as you've done that, I'm going to set God mode again. Uh, 
as you can see, it does not work anymore. So how do we fix that? Because, well, we need to fix it. So how you fix that is you destroy the floors. Please destroy the floors. And you place two triangle floors. So you place one there. And you place one there. You destroy the roof. Place one there. And... You place one there. And then obviously this is a roof as well. Now the reason I said do not go away. Do not put a door frame there is... If you log out up here, obviously you can't build your frame. So, because there's no frame there or a wall or anything, you can drop down. Yeah, if you're very careful, you can drop down. From the others, you can't drop down because you've got that wall there. Unless you build your, your um, whatever you want to call it, then it opens up and you can get up there. But you can't get up here. So, if you've got no reason to jump down, then by all means put it there but you have to you have to have these triangle roofs otherwise it's not going to work so now when you place this it opens up you can get into your base when you log off when you leave anything like that you just destroy this twig it is super cheap to build you've got your um, storage for whatever you need right there and it closes up again so if I go back here just to demonstrate again, I go in, I get whatever I need, I place it, and there we go. I'm in my base. It opens up everything. So what I would recommend here, as I said in the beginning, I would recommend once you've got this going, to add honeycomb on the outside. Add an airlock by the door. Just build on this. Um, yeah guys that is the that's the concept that i've got um i hope you enjoy it um, i hope you can use it let me know what you think let me let me know what what your thoughts are on it until next time cheers